Good morning, dear hearts. Here we are, um, just days away from the total completion of this year of our workbook lessons. So, lesson 361, 365. Please subscribe. Um, yesterday we did the title of this lesson. Today we will do the text portion, the body, let's call it, of it. The lesson itself is this holy instant, would I give to you, be you in charge, for I would follow you, certain that your direction gives me peace, certain, certainty. That is something that we do not have in this world. Certainty doesn't come in the ego land that we've been hanging out in. Certainty is not anything that the ego promises, gives, or even wants to give to us. The ego would be very happy and is very happy to keep us in a constant state of chaos and instability. But certainty, knowing, wisdom, um, peace, and stability rather than instability, these are the attributes that we find when we are on this spiritual path, when we have committed to it. The Course tells us to be vigilant only for God and His Kingdom. When I am vigilant for God, I have great certainty in my life. I do not worry about every little thing that comes up. I have a certainty that all that comes to me is happening for me, not to me, and it will resolve, resolve itself in a way that is in my highest interest and best good. Does that make sense? I think so. So today in the text of this beautiful final lesson we have, and if I need a word, if I need a word to help me, remember we were told our time, our use of words almost over, but if I need one, if I need a word, he will give it to me. He, who is he? The Holy Spirit, he will give it to me. If I need a thought, that will he give also, that he will also give to me. If I need a thought, if I need something to change my mind. These are among the gifts that we are offered each and every day. God's word, God's thought, the thought of God. My mind is part of God's, it is very holy. The stillness, the stillness that we seek for, the quietude, the tranquility, this all comes from the mind of God, that tranquil mind, that open mind, that mind is, that is open and willing to understand, willing, willingness. It is such an important part of this course. I need a little willingness. I need to be able to step back and let someone else lead the way. I need to be willing to be to step back, to not want to be in control. Wanting to be in control, that's of my ego mind. I think I'm the only one that can handle this. Anyone who says that to you, anyone who says, it's me and it's only me, that is an ego speaking to you and that is an ego that is afraid of giving up control. Only, only the open mind, the tranquil mind, the mind that recognizes it, it it recognizes it is part of God, is willing to let go, let go of everything. Come with empty hands unto your God. Lesson 189, forget this world, forget this course, and come with holy open hands, open hands, open and ready to willing to accept and bring in, bring into us all of God's beautiful attributes, his characteristics, his peace, the peace that is unlike any other, the love that has no opposite here. And if I need, and if I need but stillness and a tranquil open mind, as we spoke of, these are the gifts I will receive of him. And all of these gifts, everything that is being offered to us, it's simply as close as our breath. It's as close as our next thought. It is right here. It is always right here for us. We are not meant or told that we have to jump through hoops and travel through mazes in order to accept and have God's love and God's peace and all of God's gifts. All we need to do is be still, have willingness 
and ask. All I need to do is ask. He will give it to me. Um, and these are the gifts I will receive of him. He is in charge by my request, and that's important. By my request, we have free will. From the very beginning of this course until now and onward and always, we have free will. God waits on welcome. Love waits on welcome, not on time. So the welcome is the inviting in. It is by my request, I have invited in the Holy Spirit. Come to me, show me, guide me, take me home. I am ready. I'm ready to be one. I am certain that this is not where I need or want to be. I am certain that you will bring me home. You will bring me the perfect tranquility and peace. You will bring me to the awareness of who I am. And he will hear and he will answer me because he speaks for God, my Father, and his Holy Son. The Holy Spirit will always answer me. God has given him. God gave us the Holy Spirit the moment we had the perception of a problem, the perception of separation. In that moment, the Holy Spirit was given to us. So he will always hear me. He will always answer me. And he does indeed speak for God, my Father, and for his Holy Son, my brother, and for me. Because he knows, he sees, he can decide. I step back. I let him decide. I let him lead because I am certain he will lead me home. And that is it for today, and I hope it helped. Um, please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment, please smile for your accomplishment, my accomplishment. Look where we are. Um, breathe, smile. Yeah, breathe. I love to breathe. <laughs> it, would, it feels so good to let in and let out, let go. Again, philosophy of frozen, even now. And uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we will begin the epilogue for the workbook. And just as there, the introductions are so important, so is the epilogue. And just for a teaser, the first line is, this course is a beginning, not an end. So, namaste.